and I am the inventor of LumaPro, and I'm actually going to not talk about LumaPro, although I'll be using it in the demo here. Um, what I'm going to be talking about is trying to address these hideous black lines that we're having in our photos. And of course what we want is a fix, but until we get a fix, I have a workaround that I started using that I thought was kind of cool. Brainchild that hit me in the shower this morning. And I uh, worked it up and thought I would show it to you, and I'm going to share it to you guys. And um, it'll work for some of you. Others are going to have to do some adapting. Hopefully I'm giving you enough hints to adapt it here. So I'm uh, standing in my studio right here. Let me uh, give myself a quick pose here. And... Uh, uh, let me turn on my LumaPro lights real quick. And I also have a couple projectors that I've set in place. Let me turn those on as well. I wish I would pick a different pose here so I don't move here. There we go. And so what I've got is I've got a couple projectors here. I'm wearing the lights. I'm sitting on a white prim. Um, I intentionally picked something with angles and white and color and rotation and everything else here. But if I go to the advanced menu and do high res snapshot and then hit click, as long as it's more than just standard resolution, and now I go into my photo tool over in here, what you're going to find is, is this absolutely, oops, absolutely hideous black line that we're all dealing with. You can see it right there and right there, and it gets into our shots and causes us a tremendous amount of trouble. Let me give an example of that here. These are some photos that I took a couple days ago, and there's an example of this black line just hitting this photo. Here's another one, and the black line is all up in here. And so what this boils down to is, is you are stuck with um, either just a single set of these lines if you shoot high res like I do or if you go to much higher res then it gets even higher so what happens is is when it renders it actually renders one two three four times and it's based on your screen resolution um, I wrote a an Adobe Photoshop action script that if you have a 1080p monitor like I do um, and you shoot um, high res quick snapshot uh, with alt tilde, then this is just going to work fabulously for you. If your monitor is different or you tend to shoot a different resolution and have multiple of these lines, you're going to have to take a look at the action script that I've generated and uh, make an adapting to it to yourself. So let me give you an example of that. I'm going to take this photo here and I'm going to pull it into Photoshop. And obviously you can see the lines here. So we're all familiar with the history menu. We use it all the time. If you don't, uh, you go to window and hit um, history. There's a second tab over in here called action, which a lot of people don't do much with. Well, I've given a file. You'll see, you'll see the link in my blog. If you load that file on your computer and then uh, put that file somewhere, you can say load action. And I call this remove uh, SL lines from 1080p. Um, there's a single action inside of it called remove it now and it's shift F2. I'm going to zoom in on this one you guys so you can see this thing in action here and you guys can see the line. I'm going to hit shift F2 and boom. Um, the line is effectively gone. Um, I'll give you an example of another one here. We'll pull in a second photo here. I can just say shift F2 and boom the lines are gone. Um, even cooler than that, now that I've got an SL action here, I'm not going to save these things here, um, I can actually go to the file menu and automate and create a batch of these things. Let's say I have an entire folder of these things. So I've got a uh, folder here with three of these photos that have problems here. Um, I say uh, set action that I want is I want the remove SL lines, the remove it now action, select your folder. Um, I've got a couple suppressions. I don't know if they matter or not. In destination, I'm actually picking a different folder and then you just hit go. And it will then process a batch of photos and remove the line in all of them. Um, it's a little slow, so you're going to hit go. You're going to want to prune your folder, photos down and then you're going to want to get a cup of coffee. I don't exactly sure why it's so slow considering it runs so darn fast in um, um, uh, when you just hit shift F2 but um, still you can uh, you can process these things quickly okay so now the action is completed and if I go over to my batch demo fix folder I now have my three photos one two three um, without the line versus the original photos one two with the hideous lines three 
So that's it. Um, if you just want to see how the action works or you need to adjust or modify the action, you can go on it here. And effectively what I did was grab each of the four uh, quadrants of the picture and then just stretched it by one pixel. Um, the artifact is two pixels wide, so it works pretty well. Um, I hope this works for you. Um, this is being given to you guys with a no support policy on it, but um, I think with a little work, people uh, should be able to put this to some good use. I wish you luck on it. Take care.